انا هو مايدير انا دكتور على مصباح بروفيسور في اوبستيتكس اند جينيكولوجي فاكولتي بنسن منصور يونيفرسيتي ليت اس سي سام انسترومنتس هير يوزن اودي لاين ذيس از ذا هيجر دايليتور from small to larger size, we can use it to dilate the cervix in case of cervical stenosis before surgical procedures in gynecology and obstetrics for doing DNC, dilatation, decuretage, and taking endometrial biopsy for evacuation of the uterine content in case of missed abortion. So I need to dilate the cervix before a procedure like hysteroscopy. I want to dilate the cervix so I can use Higger dilator. It is held like that. Okay. This is called MVA or manual vacuum aspiration. It is used to evacuate the uterine content in case of incomplete abortion or missed abortion, also to take endometrial sample. This is multiple tools tenaculum or volcillum, used to hold the anterior lip of the cervix in many surgical gynecologic procedure. Also, this is a single tooth, tenaculum or borsellum. As you see, there is a single tooth. Use the tool hold the anterior level of the cervix before IV insertion, before history cervical or uterine sounding. This is the uterine sound graded in centimeter. Use the to measure the uterine cavity length. Also to know the position of the uterus, is it AVF or RDF uterus? This is Prakok forceps to hold tissue. This is hysterosalpingogram cannula inserted through the cervical canal and the dye injected through this part through a syringe to evaluate the trunk cavity and the patency of the fluent tube. So this is called hysterosalpingogram metal cannula. This is Novak Rep used to take endometrial biopsy in our patient clinic. You can see the opening here with the related edge here. And also you can do suction for the sample of endometrium, okay? So this is an open forceps used to evacuate the uterine content in case of incomplete abortion. This is the caco, sorry, this is the crocodile forceps with very short blades used in case of missed threads. In case of ID with missed threads, I can pass through the cervix, cervical canal inside the uterine cavity to hold the ID and get it out. Okay, so in case of missed threads, I use the crocodile, it is very beneficial in that. This is an artery forceps used for hemostasis. In case of spurter, you can close the artery forceps over the spurter like that for hemostasis, also for holding tissue during surgery. This is the needle holder. We put the needle here for surgical suturing. Okay, very short blade as you see. This is called needle holder. This is curette, endometrial curette, metal curette, with, with sharp edge here and the plump edge here. It is used to take endometrial biopsy for D and C during D and C. It is used for endometrial curettage, also for evacuation of the uterus in case of missed abortion. So it can be used either in gynecology and abnormal uterine bleeding and they want to take endometrial sampling or also in obstetric in case of incomplete abortion you, you want to cure it and evacuate the uterine content. This is self-retaining vaginal speculum called gravis, two blades and handle and two screw. This is called gravis, it is different than casco for being having two screw and also the upper plate is shorter than the lower plate while in casco speculum both plates are of the same size and there is only one screw in case of casco but this gravis has two screw 
this the another screw allowing the handle to and the lower plate to get down like that so giving more space when you do opening of the plate you will have more space as you see allowing for to do many gynecologic procedure during suction evacuation of the uterus during the end seed during any surgery related to the cervix leap or uh, cauterization and so on we have different sizes of self retaining vaginal speculum this is a large size this is a medium size and this is a small size as you see there is three different sizes of self retaining metal vaginal speculum graves have a lock from nearby to the old instruments.